Hi, this is question 5 from the AQA Decision 2 June 2015 exam paper. In this problem, Tom is going on a driving holiday and we should travel from A to K. The network shows a system of roads. The number on each edge represents the maximum altitude of the road in hundreds of meters above sea level. Tom wants to ensure that the maximum altitude of any road along the route from A to K is minimized. So he doesn't like traveling at a high altitude. So he wants um, any route that he chooses to contain the lowest, highest altitude um, that he can possibly get. So let's just consider how that works. So let's imagine he goes on this path, A, B, E, H, K. So the highest altitude on this pass is going to be 2.8. Now let's have a look at this one, A, C, F, I, K. The highest altitude he'd experience here is going to be 2.6. So Tom would choose A, C, F, I, K over A, B, E, H, K because the highest altitude he'd experience here is 2.6, whereas this one is 2.8. So that's going to be the minimum is minimized the maximum altitude however that's just considering two routes we want to consider all the routes so that we can get the best possible outcome for tom right so part a saying we're working backwards from k and we're going to use dynamic programming to find the optimal route when traveling from a to k and we need to use this table to complete our answer then so um we're starting with stage one, so that's going to be H, I, and K. Which is, sorry, H, I, and J. That's already been filled in for us. So from H, the only way the place I can go is K, and that's going to have an, a maximum altitude of 2.7. Um, so I can fill that into the table here. That's going to be 2.7. That's definitely the maximum from H. Um, from I, the maximum is going to be 2.3. And from J, the maximum to K is going to be 2.5. OK, so if at any point I end up at J, I know that the highest altitude from there is going to be 2.5. That's the only scenario that I can have. So that's got to be the best scenario. OK, so um, let's have a look. My stage two are going to be E, F and G. So let's have a look at E first of all. E has got two possible action. I can either go to H or to I. So, and then F has got three actions. I can either go to H, I, or J. So F is going to be H, I, or J. And um, from G, I've got two possible actions. I can either go to I or to J. Okay, so let's consider E to H. Well, E to H, um, well, that's got an altitude of 2.1, and I know from H to K has an altitude of 2.7, so my um, highest altitude there is going to be 2.7. So what that means is basically, well, let's have a look at um, I, sorry. So E to I is 2.4, and I know from I to K is 2.3, so the highest altitude from I is definitely going to be 2.4. Okay, so that should be the highest altitude from E, sorry. And then from F to H, that's got an altitude of 2.5, and I know H to K was 2.7. So from F, the highest altitude is going to be 2.7, if I go via H and f via i the highest altitude is going to be um, and it's 2.6 and that's higher than 2.3 so it's going to be 2.6 f to j is 2.3 and um, j to k is 2.5 so that's going to have the highest altitude of 2.5 and um, from g we've got um, 2.6 to i and then I to K is 2.3, so we're going to have 2.6 over here. And G to J is 2.9, and J to K is 2.5, so 2.9 would be the highest of those. 
Okay, so what we're now going to do is we're going to look at the best case scenario. So if I was at E, um, am I better going down the H path or the I path? Well, because um, Tom doesn't like altitude, he's going to be better going on that path there. Okay, so he's better going um, E to I to K rather than E to H to K because this will give him a highest altitude of 2.4 whereas this one would be 2.7 okay so we're looking for the best case scenarios from every state so from F the best case scenario is going to be 2.5 via J and from G the best case scenario is going to be this 2.6 via I okay, G to I to K is better than G to J to K okay right so those are our stage 2's so we're now going to move on to stage 3, which is B, C, D. Okay, so from B, we've got two actions. We've got E and F. From C, we've got three actions to consider. We've got E, F, and G. And from D, we've got two actions to consider, which are going to be F and G. Okay, so B to E, so B to E is going to be 2.8. So I know from E my minimum is going to be 2.4, so 2.8 is going to be higher than that. Um, and then we've got B to F, which is 2.7, and I know from F my best case scenario is 2.5, so 2.7 is going to be higher than that. From C to E we've got 2.8 and I know from 2.8 our best case scenario, sorry, sorry from E our best case scenario is going to be 2.4 so I'm going to put 2.8 in there. C to F is 2.4 and our best case scenario here is going to be 2.5 so from F we're going to put 2.5 and we want the highest one of those and then from C to G we've got 2.3 and from G my best case scenario is going to be 2.6 so 2.6 is higher than 2.3 um, D to F is 2.8 and from F my best case scenario is 2.5 so that's going to be 2.8 and D to G is 2.7 and from G my best case scenario is 2.6 2.7 now. Okay, so what we're saying, just consider this last one. Um, if I went from D to G, and I know my best route from G is going to be to I and then to K, that's still going to give me a maximum altitude of 2.7. And if we compare that to the other route, so D to F. Um, and then the best from F was J, so D to F to J to K, that gives me a maximum altitude of 2.8. So we can see that this D to G is going to be better than D to F. Okay, so we're just highlighting the minimum of each of these. So from C, the minimum is going to be 2.5. And then from B, the minimum is going to be via F which is 2.7. Okay, so we're now going to have a look at our fourth stage, um, which is just going to be A, and we need to consider three different um, routes from A. We've got um, B, C, and D. Okay, so those are our three actions, B, C, and D. Right, so um, if I go from A to B, that has an altitude of 1.9 and from B I've already seen that my best case scenario is going to be 2.7 okay so 2.7 is higher than 1.9 so we're going to write 2.7 over here that's my maximum on that route if I go A to C that's 1.8 and I can see from here that C um, to F has a maximum of 2.5 which is my best case scenario um, and that's still higher than 1.8 so we'll put 2.5 there 
and then e to d has a maximum sorry has an altitude of 2 and from d my best case scenario is 2.7 so I'm going to put 2.7 in here okay so um, so we now need to use this to work out our optimal route so our optimal route here is going to be um, <coughs> our best case scenario here it's going to be that 2.5 there so that's going from A to C and then from C I want to go to F that's my best possible scenario and then from F I want to go to J and then from um, J I'm going to go to K so A, C, F, J, K um, is going to be my optimal route ok um, and let's just check that A, C, F, J and the highest um, altitude I get here is actually that 2.5 ok so that looks like it, it fits in and works ok so part B um, you can't quite see part B over here so I'm just going to budget this up a little bit ok part B says that Tom finds the road CF is blocked okay so he can't travel down this one it's blocked okay so we want to find Tom's new optimal route and the maximum altitude of any road on this route okay so if C to F isn't available to us anymore we need to come back to this stage and we're going to choose the next best one which is going to be C to G okay so and from G the best is going to be 2.6 which is G to I and then from I our best is going to be 2.3 ok so um, it looks like our new optimal route is going to be well he wants to go from A to C and um, let's have a look so we've got a to C and then he can't go to F so we go C to G and then G to I and then I to K and that gives him a maximum altitude of 2.6 so we've got A C G I K and the maximum altitude is going to be 2.6 and um, it's in hundreds of meters above sea level so 2.600 or 260 meters is going to be the maximum altitude okay um, i hope that makes sense thanks very much for joining me i'll see you next time